Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be making an indoor dog house using the existing dog door that's already in the wall. Um, the only reason why we're doing this is because it gets pretty hot here and the two dogs that we have, we don't really want them inside the house just because they shed a lot of hair and we don't want all the furniture and everything to be covered up with hair. We want to make sure that they stay nice and cool. So we're gonna be making a modern dog house, I guess you could say. Uh, all the stuff you could buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. It is uh, 28 by 32, uh, three 30 seconds. You only need three of them. If you wanna copy the exact, uh, what I'm making, the exact same thing, you only need three of those. You also need to buy some of these. It's a three quarter by one and a half. We're gonna be needing some cutting tools you need some MDF board or you could use anything I like to use the MDF because it has a, a much smoother finish so if you were to paint it or something it, it gives you a much nicer finish and it wasn't really expensive I bought one of these sheets I think this is a half inch it was about 25 maybe like 28 dollars with tax so I already cut some of these pieces off of this one that's why this one looks a little smaller so let me clean this up from the table and let's get started so we're gonna do a 33 and a half. 33 and a half. As long as we have two or three points on the wood and we could use anything that's straight. You could use a ruler or even the same wood that we have here. And all you wanna do is connect, connect the lines. You wanna just connect the lines. So we have our first line here, and then we want to measure 32 the other direction, or 33 and a half the other direction. Luckily for me, I already had, uh, the way I had cut this board makes it two words exactly, right about 33 and a half already, so I only have to make one cut. But if you guys have a bigger sheet, you would pretty much measure what we just did from one side, go to 33 and a half, and then measure the opposite direction across and do a 33 and a half going this way. So pretty much just gonna make a square and then cut it out. So once we have our uh, MDF board cut out to 33 and a half by 33 and a half, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna grab these, the three quarter inch by one and a half inch, and we're gonna measure out 33 and a half, and we're gonna cut two of these to 33 and a half. 33 and a half, two points. Uh, you could use a ruler if you want. This is such a small cut, I'm just gonna more or less go like that and we're gonna cut it out. Okay, so these are gonna go on the edges like so. And this one's gonna go on the other side. And then we're gonna um, screw these in. It's, it'll be stronger if you glue it and also uh, screw it down. You could use uh, nails, you could use screws. Um, I'm using um, a nail gun, which is a lot faster with the compressor which that's what I'm gonna be using. So the next board's gonna go in between these two here, which would uh, equal to 32 inches. So we're gonna do two, we're gonna cut two more of these and um, we're gonna do uh, 32 inches a piece. So once again, we go exactly right at 32, 32, we just make a line. And we're gonna cut two of these. These are gonna go on in between these two. Okay, so pretty much uh, this is what it's gonna look like more or less. You're gonna have two of uh, the 33 and a half on this edge, and then the other two that are 32 inches are gonna go right in between them. And they should look more or less like a, I guess you could say like a, a frame for a wall, I guess, like for the pictures. It should look something similar to this. I'm gonna be gluing them with this wood glue and also gonna be stapling them with a, a nail gun that I have here. 
Um, you don't have to use a compressor with an nail gun. It just makes it a lot faster, a lot easier. But you could also use um, wood screws or nails. It's a good idea to test fit the glass to make sure that it fits perfectly in between the wood since that's what's uh, that's where it's going to be going. So now we want to make sure we test the glass for this side. Okay, so that looks there. And we're just going to put the other wood in this last section right there. Making sure that the glass fits with some a little bit of room, not too tight, because then you're going to have a hard time getting these, uh, these things in there and taking them out. So let's uh, glue and screw the last one. You want to make sure you give it a little bit more space since the glass on the front is going to be sitting like this and the other glass is gonna come in contact with it going this way. So the thickness of this glass, you're pretty much gonna account it on the other side. So it's gonna have to stick out a little bit more. But like I said, this one of them is gonna go towards the back side, towards the wall. You'll see that, uh, you see what I mean once I finish assembling this. So it doesn't really matter too much. After we assemble all the pieces and it looks something like this, and uh, everything's already glued and screwed or nailed in place. Then we're gonna do the inside, the inside uh, wood. We're gonna do another layer. Three more pieces, one going this way, across and back this way. So after we cut this just shy of 32, which was 31 and 5 8, um, it should give us just enough clearance for the glass to fit, for the glasses going across. And all we're gonna do is uh, get this more or less, it doesn't have to be exact, you could put the glass on here and then screw it on while the glass is on there to get a perfect fit. Or you could just more or less eyeball it, like just enough. Um, it's probably better to go a slightly uh, bigger gap because you could always glue this with silicone and it won't move anyway. It'll be uh, harder if you have a tight um, gap and you can't even get the glass inside. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and more or less uh, glue this one right here and then we'll measure the other two going across. So that should do the trick. Uh, plenty of gap there. We have plenty of gap in between. Uh, that should work. So let's do the other measurements for the remaining pieces. Then we're gonna measure from that end there to this end. It's gonna be a more or less 31 and a quarter. Everybody's sizes here is gonna be slightly different. It doesn't really matter if you guys cut it short and let's say you guys cut it at 31 and there's a gap there because this is gonna be towards the back. Um, it doesn't really matter if uh, you cut it a little short. So I'm just gonna go with the measurement of 31 and a quarter and cut it twice for the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue it and screw it on. So we're gonna do 31 and a quarter. All right, so I cut this one, cut the other side, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna leave a small gap, just enough for the glass to fit in on both sides. So the final product uh, should look something like this, where it has enough gap all around for the glass to fit in. And at this point, you guys could sand it down. Um, you guys could paint this whatever color you want. Um, you give it uh, whatever finish you want. It's pretty much personal opinion from here. As long as you have this here, she should be good. And now all you gotta do is make this twice. So copy, this is gonna be in the bottom. And then we gotta make another one for the top. So whatever we just went through, you gotta do it again. Twice, be top and bottom and then your three uh, pieces of glass 
are going to be sitting like this. It's going to be pretty much a box. And on this side is the open side. That's what's going to be against the wall where the dog door uh, is going to be. So that's going to be the entrance. So uh, for now, we're not going to paint it. I'm just going to put it together so that way you guys can see how it looks. I have my second piece here, uh, my first piece, my second piece. And you can see the glass is already on there. This is where we're going to put it. That's the inside of the dog door. And this is pretty much where we have it in our living room. So the dogs feel like they're inside the house without actually being inside the house. So that way they're going to keep much cooler since they're going to be, um, the temperature of the glass is going to be inside. So it's going to keep the inside temperature of the dog house a lot cooler. So let me um, put the other piece on and show you how it looks. So when you guys finish assembling it, it should look something similar to this. As you can see, they're already in there. Yeah. They like it a lot better because the AC is on inside the house. So they get some of the fresher air. Still got to paint this. Probably going to paint it um, the same color as the wall so it could match. Blends in with the living room pretty, pretty nicely, uh, especially once it's painted. Um, they really like it. You can tell. I also installed a, a cooling fan. This is just from a computer computer cooling fan and I wired it to a simple 12 volt um, adapter you find those anywhere and then I have the power supply this is the on and off button right here there. I'm gonna keep some nice and cool yeah if you guys uh, have any questions if uh, you guys want me to make another video on how to wire up something like this uh, let me know in the comments and I will make another video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.